in an agricultural society, in a context where, where weather is not just something that happens, where weather determines whether or not you live or die. It's frost on the crops. The farmer has to be patient in because the farmer cannot control them. Now, it doesn't mean the farmer just sits back and doesn't plant the crop and doesn't do the work. No, he's out there doing it. He's honoring God with what he can control. You will go nuts trying to control that which is out of your control. So trust in a good God, a wise God, who is in control of those things. And then identify, clearly identify what you can control and trust that just like the farmer, the Lord of the harvest will bring about the harvest in due time. That's the picture, like a patient. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The whole point of the story of Job is that the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. That's the end that Job gets to. Now it takes 42 chapters to get there. When you're walking through suffering, I urge you, brothers and sisters, to remember this is not the end. The end, the purpose of God. He will show himself compassionate and merciful. God alone can give you the patience you need to walk through suffering and sorrow. And the avenue through which you receive that patience is prayer. And this is the beauty, even going back to the farmer, trusting in God or what you cannot control. You and I have the privilege of communing with the God who is in control prayerful in sorrow. Pray when you are hurting. You know that God wants his, his servants strengthened and comforted and helped in their time of weakness. Pray earnestly for those things and know that you have what you have asked for. Prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. Does this mean that if you pray with enough faith that someone will be healed? So, how do we pray? We pray in faith we pray believing that God is going to do what we know He wants to do. We pray in accordance with His Word. The same thing Jesus talks about. If you ask anything in my name, according to my will, it will be given to you. And He's good, and He's sovereign, and He's wise, and He has an eternal perspective. I know that you are trustworthy, and you're good, and you're wise. That I know you have the power to heal. That you would strengthen this brother or sister. But... My ultimate desire is that you would get glory. Now that, that's praying with faith. That's praying with faith.